I do agree that uh, ESG and uh, Islamic finance has a lot in common, uh, like Basha have, have said. Uh, but in terms of really uh, translating that into actual uh, issuances on the ground, I think it, it requires um, uh, to uh, us to actually create more awareness la, on the supply side as well as the demand side, and more so on the supply side. Because uh, talking uh, from experience, it seems that uh, most of the supplies, especially if we're talking about corporates, you know, wanting to issue um, ESG or green or sustainability type of sukuk, uh, they may not have understood, you know, what it entails, what it means. So they may perceive it as something which is complicated um, and, 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 and also uh, what are the incentives for them in doing so and what is the pricing behaviour. So, so with this kind of uh, lack of uh, awareness uh, among the issuers or the supply side, they may, at the end of the day, you know, just keep and overlook that actually for their finance funding need, they can just effectively do a green or sustainable suku. So they just go for the normal issuance, not knowing that there is an opportunity for them. So that on the, on the uh, supply side and on the uh, demand side, uh, I think uh, there is a demand, especially now uh, most of the corporates or is required to integrate in ESG within their uh, within their uh, philosophy within the within the corporate structure, and it's part of the thing that they need to also disclose in their accounting reporting and whatnot. Okay, so that that demand I think is is getting bigger and bigger, uh, but we need to educate the supply side uh, more in terms of the advantage of doing this, uh, and because of that also we have seen that most of the green or sustainable. Uh, so good issues have been done more in terms of sovereign uh, rather than from the corporate side.